Yo, 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 yo. What's up, everybody? Jay Phillips here. Um, Welcome to another episode. Ice cold episode, may I say, of Mind of the Quiet Dude, the podcast, where me and my main man, Jamie Jones, we uh break down the get downs of the week. You know, have a little powwow about it and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, Jones? Ain't nothing to it. What's the deal, good people? We back outside another Monday. A lot of shit happening. How you doing, Jay Phil? Man, no complaints over here, man. I'm uh, you know, just just getting back getting back in town. Um, you know, I, I I rocked out in Dallas this weekend. Shout out to everybody that came out to uh check your boy out at hyenas. 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 <laughs> we got the hyenas. Everybody that was sway in the morning, uh <laughs> hyenas. hyenas. Uh, yep, that's exactly what I, I went, in that, <laughs> went in that joint and monstered that joint out. Boy, that thing was fun, man. I had a good time in there. Hmm. Uh, so, so definitely shout out to all of the folks that, uh, you know, uh, came out in Dallas that may be tuned in or maybe in that rewatch game because uh, I know I gained some more folks out of there, man. Uh, there's a lot of good people there, man. So. Um, looking forward to returning. They got another club as well. They got one in Fort Worth, uh, Texas. And, uh, you know, also, you know, looking forward to getting back to that Dallas one again. That was cool. So hopefully I'll be back on the books with that really soon. So, uh, mm-hmm. you know, once again, man, that Dallas is, Dallas is always cool. Cause it's like, I got, I got friends down there. Um, mm-hmm. but I never really get a chance to to really go hang out and do stuff. Like, you know, one of the homies came by um, mm-hmm. and, and we kicked it for a little bit, but you know, I got, I got two or three other guys down there who I normally catch up with that. I just, I just ain't have time. And I looked up next thing, you know, the weekend gone. I'm, I'm on my plane back, back to the crib before I can even do anything. Facts. And you know, Dallas is the money town of Texas. Yeah, like Houston's where you can go turn up and ride swingers and drink lean, but the money is being made in Dallas. <laughs> that's where that's, it is where it's popping at. Yeah, they they it's mm-hmm. it's definitely a lot of money. It's actually the first time that I spent like uh any amount of time really downtown Dallas. Normally, I'm on the outskirts. Normally, I'm mm-hmm. I'm in Addison or I'm in Arlington. Uh, but never like in the city itself. So this was the first time that I really done any time at all in the city. You know, I I think I drove through there a couple times, but outside of that, man, I I just catch a look at that skyline from afar and be like, yeah, I'm here, but I don't need to go over there. I don't have no business. 
There was, I, right. I've been to the mall. There's a mall downtown that I go to that I've been to because, <laughs> you know, I, I find the mall, you know, the good one. <laughs> Facts. Uh, that's on the, uh, that is a, some shit. Any city I go to, I'm going to ask you about shopping. <laughs> to hit the mall. That's all Which you need to do because you, know you know I'm going to hit the mall. Exactly. I know you're gonna know about the mall in that town. Dallas got that Dallas is a very, very uh stylish city. So yeah. that's one of the places that you could go to in their, you know, in, in, in their uh their Nordstroms and Bloomingdale's will be fashion forward as opposed to right. you go to some cities, there'll be, you know, there'll just be stuff there. Regular as hell, exactly. Yeah, reg regulars, you know. But mm -hmm. now nah, they pretty fashion forward over there, man. So I, I had a, I had a good shopping session. I'll say uh, that. Yeah, you can get colors at, at, at places like Dallas, not yeah. just the colors of the season, but you can get colors. So you, you be like, oh, I got something at home that'll match this perfect. Like, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I picked up a couple nice little pieces out there. So um. Yeah, I'm looking forward to um, you know, looking forward to uh wearing one or two of those uh this weekend. I'll be in uh Dayton, Ohio. Um uh, mm. so Dayton Dayton is a uh, the, the ticket sales, the pre-sales is looking really ashy. I ain't going to lie. They they my pre-sales was my, my pre-sales was suffering over there, man. I know it's <laughs> I know it's Easter weekend and I know it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. I know it's Good Friday. But come on, man. You Come know, on, man. You know what time it is. I ain't Pull been up. out there. I ain't been out there in a minute, y'all. You, you got come on now. And and, he, and everybody's like, yeah, don't worry. They uh, you know, they they always just pull up late. We don't do a lot of pre. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. Whatever. <laughs> ain't nobody trying to hear. I now nah, <laughs> call them, man. Tell them you coming. Ain't nobody trying to. I don't need that extra stress, bro. Thanks. Get some verbal RSVPs or something. Come, come on, man. Just holler at them and give them a pinky swear. I don't care what you do. <laughs> just, just put them just, on the list. Put, yeah. Let me build a let me build a, a list for you. I'll put you on my guest list. I don't give a damn. Just let me send in some names to these people so they don't panic. I don't want no panic. I just want to I want a good turnout and I want to come back again. That's that was that was used to be one of my spots out there. Dating, I'd go out there and play some golf. You know, I don't think I'm taking my sticks with me this time. I should, but I, I don't think I am. Right, right. Man, you might see. Shout out to Aaron Payne. Shout out to Franco. Um, shout out to everybody in the chat. Uh, appreciate y'all. Aaron's hometown is Dayton. So, Aaron, call your people, bro. <laughs> yeah. Call your high school homies. Tell them go see a funny show this weekend in, uh, in, in Dayton. In Dayton, Franco, right there. Franco, we know OKC is in the building. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't have any, uh, you know, any any cool graphics or nothing like that to send up there for 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 Dayton right now. I even though I did spend a great amount of time making uh like a nice little graphics. promo and flyers and shit like that. So <laughs> even I did spend a lot of time on graphics today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one thing I didn't do is just have standalone graphics. <laughs> for the fucking flyer for the, <laughs> for the thing that makes me money <laughs> I did a video though I did a whole fucking commercial facts mm -hmm. I did a whole um, commercial he said I need that guest list I'll catch the flight from Denver say less man if you pulling up <clears> from Denver I, if you if you flying in from Denver I got you on the guest list how about that you and Thanks. You and five of your closest friends. <laughs> yep. And uh, so pull up because we might be giving away. There might be one or 300 tickets available. So please pull up this weekend. <laughs> yeah. I'll run, I'll run the commercial at the end of the show. So you can. Is it uh, the funny bone? Yeah, I'll be at the funny bone. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The funny bone in Dayton. I got to call my cousins. I got cousins out there. I got. I got first cousins. Mm. Facts. First now, cousins. Hey, listen, that's what's up. Um, you might be able to use Diddy's jet. <laughs> I ain't. Hey, look. We ain't talking about Diddy yet. You ain't fin. 
that's that's too much right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just teasing. This is this is this is unpeeling too much right now, man. I, I can't mess with that, man. I feel like some more shit gonna happen while we on the air. But so right let's now. talk about some other shit for a little bit. <laughs> then we'll get back to this later. I legitimately am constantly checking my phone. <laughs> I'm thinking at any at any time something gonna something gonna pop off and it's some 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 Diddy news gonna happen any minute. Mm. Does it feel like OJ, bro? It feels OJ ish. Not in the crime. In the in the he chase, running around in the chase, in the, in the, where is he? He running around. Oh, he got seen well, at the airport. His in order, in order, in order for it to feel OJ ish, it has to be on during the March Madness game. It got to interrupt the March Madness game to come in. This just in: we found P Diddy. Sean Puffy Combs is hanging out outside of a, you know. <laughs> He is in the back of a. a, he, is a he, he is on top of a bodega roof. <laughs> yep, yeah, he's in the back of a Maybach with uh, with little C's driving. <laughs> Man, look at it. Here he goes. Diddy was about to buy Netflix. Diddy ain't got that type of money. <laughs> Nah, Diddy wasn't about to buy Netflix. Diddy ain't bro. got no Netflix don't, money, bro. Don't put that Bill Cosby yeah. on him yet. Yeah, don't. Y'all stretching it with that one, bro. They trying. He might, he might have just been a creep. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe he's just an idiot, you know? Maybe he's a creep that was enabled for a long time, and then they, uh, you know, didn't have much use for him anymore. And it was like, hey. Time to go. <laughs> Yeah, I Time don't know. Time to go. <laughs> Joe Creep ass. Yeah, that's fucking incredible, bro. Um, oh, thanks. Yeah, well, oh, we'll figure God. out. Uh, we'll figure out how that goes very shortly. But uh, you know, I'll say, I'll say that we. Um, I want to. I want to continue. Let me continue my shout outs this week. Facts, man. facts. No, nah, I like it. Because last, yes, because nah. yesterday. Um, Yesterday was a full day. Yesterday, uh, I flew back in from Dallas, and then um, I flew back in from Dallas and landed, and my my family is gone. My family gone, man. They went to go hang out in Vegas for the weekend, you know, for a couple of days with their with their folks. You know what I'm saying? They got some my sons, my sons, little homeboy out there, and. You know, and and her mom and and his mom is I don't know they 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 in Vegas doing that shit. I, they hit me from some ninja warrior training camp shit. I don't know what they was in there doing. <laughs> I was That's like, all right, time. bet here we go. So, you know, I've been mm. in this, I've been in this joint chilling, man, trying to trying to keep myself together. But then I ain't really had a chance to enjoy shit because then I had to work last night. So I came in off the plane. I fell asleep. I woke up, shit, it was time to go. I, I was at uh, Chocolate Sundays last night. Oh, uh, yeah. That Laughs Unlimited, world famous uh, Sunday night show. Been going for 20 years almost. Uh, yeah. Rocking. Yeah. And they had a, and and they have like a, it's just, it's, it's a, it's a huge, it's a huge internet thing now, like a social media big deal with, uh, you know, with, with, it's, it's a whole social media, you know, thing with, with chocolate Sundays now. Um, and I'm happy to be a part of it. You know, first of all, I'll say that. Um, but I, what I do have to do is make sure that the material that I'm giving them is something that I don't mind, you know, Give getting away. out there, you know, it might be, let, let it be something that I've worked on or let it be something that I'm ready for everybody to see. Um, right. you know, but, you know, ain't no, it's just, you got, ain't no day off over there. That used to be a nice little, nice little easy day off, you know, get to go in there and rock out and, you know, and, and do whatever right. you need to do. But now it's, it's damn near a TV appearance. It can, you now know, it could be an equivalent to it. Yeah. It could be an equivalent mm. with the numbers because, uh, you know, you, you can, you can legitimately get two, three million views off of a five minute set from that. Facts. Facts. And, but you do have to like, cause these are sets that 
you know, you eat off like some of these sets you eat off every week. So you uh, people don't understand that comics don't always want to burn material so quick. And that's what it's being. That's what it's called when you do it publicly. It's burning material because mm-hmm. it's going out to the world. So it's not going to surprise <clears throat> everybody at the comedy club on Friday. So I almost have to dead that it sometimes. But um, so, yes, these, you know, you would like to be able to pick and choose what gets out. <laughs> but when you do sets like these, but the platform is so big that you know what you're walking into. So it's like it is a great opportunity. And if and if you burn uh, 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 two jokes on two million people then okay because that'll bring some dates that'll bring some tickets and everything else that comes from it so yeah it's uh but i understand what you're saying you gotta think about what material you give it you give it out yeah. <laughs> For, <laughs> but then but then the, but then again the ultimate goal is to rip that's that's it you know i, I don't care at the end of the day is a live show. It's a live audience. It's probably one of the hottest shows on a Sunday night. That's pretty much anywhere. Like, right? It's yeah. It's pretty prime time. Facts. It's pretty prime Eddie time. Murphy. And you can see Eddie Murphy. You can see Denzel. You can see Chris Rock. Uh, you you can see the biggest of the big coming to enjoy the show as much or less of the people on stage. So it's like, you know, um, it's it's been an event. I was there 14 years and it was an event the whole time I was there. Like <laughs> Well damn man, I um so yeah, I, I I enjoyed that joint, man. I and to be able to headline that uh two two times uh yesterday um and and I you know just just smashed that joint. That man I some, one of those times where you you just you you catch a little zone and uh mm-hmm. you know you just gotta you gotta feel it because it, it was a it was like the first show was crazy in there. Um, the first show was crazy because, um, like the the dude that went uh, funny Marco from from the Bay Area up there he came on and and he went up there and he smashed that joint right in front of me. I mean he. He was in there. He was in his goddamn element. He, I'm, I was having a conversation in the back, and I'm, you know, I'm trying to stay focused with my conversation, and uh, all I'm hearing, is, Rah! I was like, yeah, so, uh, <sighs> yeah, because we was at the, Rah! I was like, yeah, we had the uh, store the other day. Let me go see what this nigga talking about. I'll be right back. So I had to go. <laughs> he was in there smashing <laughs> that joint. So I was like, all right, dope. He was killing it. So I didn't got- know he was funny like that. Yeah, I've only it. known him from the interview show on, like, yeah, on on YouTube, like yeah. doing the awkward interviews. I've never seen none of his stage shit. I'm hoping that I got his name right. Um, yeah, that's the first time I met the bro. Um, mm. but he he was this dude was smashing that joint, man. Uh, you could go to Chocolate Sundays um Instagram page and and scroll down. All, of, all everybody who was on there was there. I think that's what dude was on there, but uh. Right. Yeah, he smashed that joint, and then um, and then Ron G went up after, um, after that he didn't bring me directly up, uh, mm-hmm. right after all of the smashing, which you know I'd have been fine with. So, right. but he he went up and did another bit, and uh, he decided to he started smashing that bitch harder than him. So I was like, God <laughs> damn, he, I'm sitting there thinking I'm getting punked. These niggas singing songs and. <laughs> Ron stripped and he stripped for an old lady. He gave somebody a, he gave a sixty three year old lady a lap dance. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, all right, <laughs> this is set up. Yeah, here we go. All right, so fuck, I do the y'all. <laughs> yeah, man, come on, fam. All right, let's go. Yep, here we are. Bow. So I went up there after that and and uh, and and was able to take control of the situation and make it happen. And uh so that's that's all it was, man. You know, uh went up that joint and made it happen and and moved on from from there, man. And you know, stayed after for a little while. I, I don't get as much enjoyment sitting around outside uh as I used to. I used to have fun just sitting out there chilling with the, you know, some of the comics and stuff and and right. we still do it, 
you know, I stood, I stood out there for a little bit, but you know, I had to, had to, had yeah. to get up out of there, man. I was tired. <laughs> and it's a, I mean, it's almost a college atmosphere where you kind of your class is out there. You know what I'm saying? Like your class it gets day time and they the ones hanging out and like, you know, it you had twenty years of that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, you you did your twenty. Like now this is they class now. Like, you know, you um you still smash this it says nothing about the shows and ticket sales and none of that shit. I'm just saying it's their time to be the young niggas out all night giving and tags to each other, you know, sitting at the at the restaurant after yeah. the shows and, you know, doing all that shit that, you know, niggas had to work through. Well, they asked me, and I, they was like, yo, you you going to the little after hour spot? Yeah. Like, uh, tell you what, hit me. Text me. When I, but when I get to the car, I'll see how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best I could do for you right now. Facts. I, I, yeah, if I get to the car and I catch a, a second burst of wind and I don't feel like going home quite yet, then I might mm. pull up. But chances are I am heading mm. to the valley, bro. I'm out of here. Ain't nobody messing with you. And it's the, it's the perfect night to do it with no kids. That's how you know what, 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 stat, what stature you are right now. It's like with no kids, no wife at home, no, ain't nothing, ain't no work in the morning. Like I Man. can sleep in, like I could Man. actually go hang out with you niggas. You know what? I'm going home. Yep. <laughs> it was all lined up for me to go out. And guess what I did? <laughs> Took it to the crib. <laughs> to the crib. Yeah, went home and went home and watched some Hulu. That's what I did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I tried for the I tried for the second time to watch the Freak Nick video. I'm I've been sliding through it just a little by little, just to make sure I don't you know scrolling through to make sure I ain't in none of these backgrounds. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I was at that park. <laughs> I was most definitely at that park when they were shooting this park right here. I was there. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I was there that day. I was there that day, right then. Yes. Everybody saw that car in the park. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. I think that's I think that's the allure of watching this uh video, man. This this thing. It's not a video, this program or documentary. Right, because I, I know it was a lot of people like and just just can you imagine the millennials or the or the Gen Xers, those folks, those mm -hmm. those twenty two year olds, those mm -hmm. twenty five year olds, those eighteen year olds, those you know those damn near thirty year olds at this point. Um, if you if you think about it, those up to about thirty years old. Can you imagine fl flipping through that video and seeing your mom on top of a mm -hmm. convertible? twerking with four four dudes drinking beer and throwing chains on her ass. Exactly. Like, Ma! She, she doing the butt. Yeah, she doing the butt. <laughs> she was freaking. Yeah. It wasn't even called twerking yet. It was just called no. booty shaking. Yep, it was freaking. <laughs> Ooh, he freaking on her. Like, yeah. That was <laughs> yeah, he yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. man, yes. When we have those same, I mean, every region probably has the events. Uh, ours was Hot August Nights. One of them is big in Reno every single year. It's like an old car cruise, but a million people come out. All oh, like the rappers, and, you know, they party in the casino. It's a, it's our kind of spring break event, but it's, even though it's in August, like. Um, and yeah, everybody got wild ass stories from that shit. If they made a doc, it would be crazy with E40 and all the fucking MCs and shit. Yeah, it, we, we got the shit. Uh, what was y'all? What was y'all local event? I mean, at home, what was the big thing every year? Did y'all have one big thing? Nah, I mean, it, it, hey man, let's keep let's keep it real. Our big thing was freak nick that was that was yeah. that was our region matter of fact yeah. freak nick was started by people from dc 
I learned that in the documentary. That's DC people that started that document, that started that that whole that, situation. Damn. So and what's yeah. that? An eight hour drive or something? Yep. See, that's easy. Like nothing. Right down to LA. I yeah. knocked that right on out. Yeah, we did it. We did it quite a few times. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'm easy. I remember. I rem- here, here's how I remember going to Freak Nick. It was me and my dude, Dermain, and I think Mike. Dermain and Mike, they still my, they we, we still cool to this day. Those my folks. That's family. Right. They, they We still follow each other. Facebook, Instagram, all these stories are back upable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I went, I remember when I left to go down there, this was when I was, this was when I was hooping. I had, I, I used to play in these pay leagues. Um, mm-hmm. you know, these adult pay leagues where we would go and do these, you know, these tournaments, tournaments. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and try to get this Com- bread. So, yeah. yeah, we was competitive as hell. So we had, <laughs> we had like some, some good bread on the line. And, uh, I remember this game, we were supposed to leave to go right after the game. I was all mm-hmm. prepared. I had my stuff in the trunk. We was, we was going to pull up after the game. And man, when I'm telling you. This game went into double overtime. Mm. I, we ain't had nobody on the bench. I was playing point guard. I played the whole game, plus the two, plus the two overtimes, and then we had to jump on the road and drive eight and a half, nine hours to Atlanta after that long ass game. After that long ass game, couldn't oh get no God. surfing turf. Had to go right down to Atlanta. <laughs> Cause the thing was, if you that's like us leaving at like at 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 probably six p.m., seven p.m. as opposed to trying to leave it, you know, trying to get out of there at three, you know, to where I would have got we'd have got down there in enough time to do something while we was down there. But now we're gonna be pulling up at you know three in the morning. <laughs> it's a big Fred. difference. A big difference. <laughs> Tired, yeah, yeah. Everybody. Don't want nothing. Just yeah. trying to find a hotel. Or, <laughs> mm. We all had, you know, fucking one room, or, knew, or somebody knew a homeboy that was around there that had a spot at his crib, and then it, we all, man, it was just, it was a whole mess. But man, it was, it was an incredible time. Yeah. I'll tell you that exactly. And that's a big difference between the East Coast and the West Coast. East Coast is like Europe, where six hours you in three different states or like Europe, you'd be in three different countries and, and, and just a short time ago from, um, but in, out in Cali, everything's really far away. Like all the other states trying to get to shit. It ain't yeah. that like easy. Y'all could be in Miami in nine hours, 10 hours. Y'all could be in New York in two hours. Y'all could be in, in Chicago at eight, nine, 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours. Something like that's, that's dope. Yeah, we had we had a we had a I mean, you, even your numbers are slightly off, but I get it. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I, I, just just for anybody who's fact checking out there, they were like, "Oh, that ain't." Just... <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. Look, I know it, Chicago it, ain't that close. No, it's, <laughs> it, I mean it's the other ones. I mean we not two hours from New York. We a good four hour drive there. A good nine hours to Atlanta. A good fourteen fifteen to uh, Miami. Um, mm. You know, so you know six to seven to, to Cleveland and eight to nine to. The, the somewhere around there to Chicago, so numbers ain't bad. They all it's all. I mean, it's all it's, it's all, all whippable. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. all whippable for sure. Um, but uh, it, we and and you made up a good point there, uh, uh, Derek Holmes. Great point. Um, our our thing that we did have was Howard's homecoming. Howard's homecoming was an absolute mega event every year. Mm-hmm. Um, not even just, not even like for, you know, homecoming and college people. It was just a huge event. Like that's the first place I saw, you know, like Biggie Smalls came down and performed at Howard's home. That's where he had his big, you know, he had his joint uh, party and bullshit where they did the fake fight. You know what I'm saying? They they did that there at Howard. I was like, I was in that, in that concert but i was there on the campus while that was going on um so it was howard's homecoming was huge so I, i'll give you that as well but they 
you know, somebody got shot at the McDonald's, and the next thing you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is what comes with. <laughs> they started Sadly. toning it down. When there's 300 people inside of a McDonald's that really only supposed to hold about 120, and somebody starts mm-hmm. shooting in that McDonald's, uh, that's pretty bad. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> not a good look. You can't nobody get out the door. Shit's just, you know, so yeah, they had to stop that mm-hmm. after that. Man. But, mm-hmm. Was you seeing Diddy at Howard's homecoming? Yes. <laughs> he said, yes, I actually was. Straight face. Yes. <laughs> yes. I I would almost I would almost guarantee you that Howard's homecoming is part of what got Diddy started. He used to promote parties down there. Exactly. That's where he started. Promote throwing parties at Howard. At Howard's homecoming. Absolutely. So yeah, that was uh that was the beginning of Diddy. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, that freak Nick Doc is uh interesting to to close that out. That is, a lot of people are seeing themselves and um I mean hopefully they ain't know. Hopefully ignorance gonna be bliss and no one gonna tell them that they saw them and they just can keep walking around. But some of them getting Facebook messages with screenshots of it right on their timeline. Is this you? I haven't got down to the deep part yet. Cause like I said, I keep trying to watch it too late at night when it's you know, when I'm going to bed and stuff. But mm-hmm. um I so far I haven't seen anything like incriminating. Like it's telling all of the good history, you know. Okay. It was started by the HBCUs and, and so or so of people who didn't want to go home. It was telling all the good shit, you know, and the people in the organizations and the monies that it raised, and it's still on that. It ain't telling about. It ain't telling a whole lot about the stories about about, about the shit that was going down for real. Like they weren't telling you there was people in there just like, yo, what's happening, and it's just. It just go down right there in the park or where we're in the car or you know, just right. people just would go there with the with the intentions of of meeting somebody and and staying with them at a hotel. Like if okay. if you had a hotel room at Freaknik, you could you, get topped off. Oh I man, you was a you was a sergeant. <laughs> you definitely could get topped off. Well, you, <laughs> I mean, if that's the goal. Nah, man, it's always the goal. (laughs) (laughs) Who argues? What else is the goal? Uh, Laugh with the homies, see some wild shit, get topped off. (laughs) The wrong order. (laughs) Well, you know. Give you something to talk about on the drive home. I tell you that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah. You know the funny part is when you're riding back home and you know after Freak Nick, you know you got that that eight nine hour drive. Because I tell you what, they the drive home after a fun weekend ain't never a good thing. That ain't right. never good. You always tired, drunk, hungover, um, spent mm-hmm. all your money. And all you got left is your stories on the way back. Yo. That's it. All stories. And and uh, the worst part is, is always one person in the group who wasn't successful with anything they tried. They hollered at 15 chicks. They got 15 no's. They tried, <laughs> they tried to they tried to play some dice. They down 800. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, bro, you should. They almost got in two fights because they weren't fucking yeah. with me at the VIP. Exactly. They they fucked up one bra for you. Yeah. Because cause, cause her friend didn't like you. Her friend didn't like you. So now it's my fault. I got stuck with the chick that ain't doing shit. God damn it. There's always one dude that got the worst story on the way back. Facts. Facts, yep, um, yep. I was always uh, uh, a really good wingman. Like, uh, you had something I could make you look good and fucking bada bing and keep it going. I'll take that one for you over there. Like, I'll hook you up. <laughs> I'll keep this night going. <laughs> 
Yeah. I mean, that's those were important part of the crew at the time. I'll tell you that. <laughs> he was needed. He was I definitely mean, I, needed I was, out here. I was raised a lot of good ones, but there was, uh, you know, I would take one for the team for the homies. <laughs> she a little bigger than I like, but, you know, <laughs> clubs closed. Yeah, what am I going to do? <laughs> It's all, it's already tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, we had homies with a uh, quarter million dollar homes in the mid nineties. Derek Holmes, I heard that. Yeah, mid nineties. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a mansion in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, in, in the nineties too. Shit. Yeah, that shit. That's a that's a that's a big home in Atlanta now. Yeah, that had an elevator in it. Yeah. Pool had a had a pool and a pool table. That was uh, yeah. <laughs> that was the whole thing, yeah. bro. They had indoor outdoor pool. Um, well, yeah, that's I know y'all was turning up too. We was doing that with uh, you know, buying two pounds of weed at a time and selling sacks all day in the nineties. Uh, still setting up the same scenes, but we was just hustling, <laughs> just the hustle. So, all right, man. So we 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 open the door with Diddy. Here's I've been trying to look and see what what the latest is on uh the Diddyology here. Um, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to figure it out. Um, I don't oh, see no TM. new news, but what nah. what is but what it's looked like is, um, Diddy left. Did he did did he stay or did he go? That's that's what we ask. Did he stay or did he go? Mm -hmm. The plane left. We know that. There's a picture of the plane landing in Antigua. Um, did he love Air LLC or whatnot? Um, but was he on it? That's there's what I'm saying. Report, there's reports that he was seen at Miami Airport, and there's also reports that he was seen by uh, uh, authorities at the airport as well but they don't think he was detained. Um, so we don't know if he was actually able to get on the plane, if they met him at the airport and took his passport and he had to turn around and they say, no, nah, you can't leave while this investigation is going on or who knows, but looks like there's some trouble. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, God damn it's some trouble. Whenever the feds uh, got your son's uh, handcuffed walking out your house, uh, that that is a bad look. I don't care how you I don't care how you slice it. Mm -hmm. And and coordinated three states, three homes um, raided at the same time. Damn. Um, so uh, Miami, New York, I think, and L.A. Uh, all of his houses were. Uh, raided by Homeland Security, of all people, on um, ongoing sex trafficking allegations. Reports are that he, uh, there are three uh, Jane Doe's, which are witnesses or test uh, plaintiffs that don't want to come forward because on sex crimes, you don't have to bring up your name in certain states. You can stay Jane Doe um, if you're a victim of a sex crime. And there's also one John Doe, <laughs> which alludes to a male uh, victim or uh, a plaintiff as well that are all being interviewed or have been interviewed um, by authorities, I believe the feds or Homeland Security. So yeah, there's something definitely uh, serious going down. And so we think that they must have told them something was in that house, in one of those houses or in all of those houses. And you should go find them because evidently they raided all the cribs. <clears throat> Damn. Um, I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's as deep as it goes. I'm, I'm looking at it now, man. Uh, this, all of the stuff, uh, breaking news. Sean Diddy had both his house raided by the Department of Homeland Security for an investigation mm -hmm. of sex tracking. Two of his kids got scooped up in the raid 
and apparently they can't find Puff, who jumped onto his jet. Damn, Puff. A, <laughs> damn, Puff. Is it another headline is Puff's X. It says Puff's X tears up, reliving how Puffy stomped on her pregnant stomach. I'm like, God damn, dog. Like what? <laughs> damn. Mm. I I had no here's the thing. To me, this this is as out of left field as as, as can be for me. I never took Diddy to be I took Diddy to be weird, but I ain't take him to be like 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 all of the stuff that's starting to come out. I I'm kind of I'm kind of blown away by it. But I once again, I've never spent no time with him. Um, right. I've met him once, you know, when he was doing mm-hmm. Bad Boys of Comedy. I met him. I met him when it was, you know, he was in the comedy game. So, but other than right. that, um, I I don't really know dude like that. But everybody I ask about him, they nobody takes up for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I couldn't. He is probably one of the worst. Uh, I mean, I probably worked on three hundred commercials in twelve years. Uh, you know, major budget, Pepsi, every major brand, Samsung, Toyota, every, uh, Super Bowl, 20 Super Bowl commercials I've worked on. Diddy was probably the worst dude on set that I- I'd been across. And I told this story on the podcast a couple of years ago, so this ain't nothing I'm bringing up. Like right now, this is, he's just degrading people for no reason and really uh, childish and rude, extra rude for no reason. And yeah, like, yeah, there was those things. And um, well, it was that's the only encounter I'd ever had, but it was just, uh, it was still shitty. off of that other stuff though, like that reality show that he had about, about being in the house. Well, I'm, I can't remember mm-hmm. that one. Um, yeah, I'm, making the band. Making the band. Oh, I remember mm-hmm. he made these people walk from Manhattan to Brooklyn to get him a slice of pie one day. I was like, man, you deserve to get your whole ass kicked, buddy. Yeah, I, give me some cheesecake. Man, I beat your ass, man. <laughs> and then you gonna yell at me <laughs> while I walked over there? I could have took a cab, and you mad because it took me a long time to bring your stinking ass back some cheesecake. I had to walk yeah. across a bridge? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> just so you can just so you can listen to my demo? Just so uh, you can prove that I I want this thing. <laughs> Crazy as hell. Got me out here doing push-ups. Exactly. Oh, uh, and a lot of them people um are lightweight plaintiffs now. <laughs> oh, you but, but you should be. Some of the girls are lightweight plaintiffs, like the Danny D. K. girls, like uh they Come were on. the second one and the other making the band girls. Like yeah. uh they were like he was pretty much trying to traffic us. He was trying to make us in the high end send us to his friends on some famous <laughs> hosts. Well, <laughs> take that, you know. Yeah, bro. Um, it's uh, I I feel like they be getting <laughs> they get wounded dudes, man. I'm a conspiracy theorist here. Like they get dudes that are already fucked up, and they build them up so that they can break them down at some point. Like I just feel like it. <laughs> Like, I don't know that uh, he's innocent, but I think that everybody always knew it. Everybody around him always knew how he was. Apparently. Because like, I... <laughs> once again, I ask, I ask my inner circles, I, I'll leave all names out, but I've asked right. some of my uppers in the, in the, in the inner circle, like, yo, what's up with Diddy? Is he, all, is, is, is he's all that he's cracked up to be here? And they just be like, man, I don't know. I don't really, yeah, I don't mess with Diddy like that. I'm like, damn, really? Am I the only one that didn't know? Facts. Facts. I'm yeah. sure glad, I'm so, I'm so glad I didn't need him for nothing in my career. I didn't need <laughs> I didn't, 
that little show that he was doing, that little bad boys of comedy, it was cool, but it it, it, it ain't make me, only thing I wanted to go in there is so I can get some some Sean John. That's all the reason I wanted to go. And he forced the comedians to wear Sean John on stage. Yeah, I know hella comedians that have told the story. I came with my fly ass suit and I was ready. And they was like, nah, you got to wear some Sean John shit. Yeah. <laughs> They put this Sean you know, John like, on, go on about yourself. They <laughs> put this button up on. <laughs> yeah. Somebody trying to hear that. Put these baggy jeans on. <laughs> put these big ass jeans Put on. these big ass pants on, fam. <laughs> go tell jokes on my platform. Yep, yeah, right now. Go do a commercial for me. Thanks. Yeah. And, you know, he done paid off a few people like everybody has over the years. But, you know, sometimes that comes with the territory. Everybody knows that sometimes it's cheaper to just pay them off than to uh, go through the battle and fight. Um, even if you didn't do it, like your lawyers will tell you to give them 10000 and let them get out of here and it'll stay quiet. They'll sign an NDA and whoop, 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 whoop. Um, but you know, this seems <laughs> more valid. There's, there's too many people. It's, it's, it's Cosby-esque. Um, it is. Except it's, it don't feel like Cosby. It feel like OJ. <laughs> it feels like a so new much, Cosby. Cause, uh, uh, yeah. With the threat of the run. So with the threat here, of getting out out of here, like OJ had his little briefcase and his, but he have a wig or something, <laughs> some weird shit. And it, and that he had a little getaway him. bag, yeah, <laughs> his little getaway bag, a little earthquake kit, <laughs> two condoms. <laughs> In case he ran up on a skanky bit. <laughs> nigga had a fake mustache. <laughs> A blonde wig, you know. <laughs> I'm not OJ, I'm Sammy Sosa. <laughs> Got some brute cologne. You better believe it. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, uh, I don't know, but here's, here's, the, here's, here's the last. I'm going to leave the dude alone after this, man. But, I'm like, not. ultimately, like, what do you think going to happen to him? How do you think this is going to play out? That's the That's the thing. Like what? Um, how how does this play out for Sean Puffy Combs right now? Because I'll be honest with you, what I'm seeing, uh, and you know, it's just falling so far straight down the line of what happened to Epstein. Right. This is looking more Epstein than it is looking um, Louis C.K. Mm. Louis What's C.K. That? had his problems. He got canceled. Yeah. He got a little canceled, and then. You know, he he slowly start back working again and you know, yeah. and now now he's okay. But he took his lumps and you know, he did what he had to do to come back. Mm -hmm. Epstein was like, This is bigger than me, I'm out. Right. This is uh yeah. This is uh Lauer with the uh uh lock on the on the end <laughs> with the lock on the door from your desk <laughs> to lock right. people in at the office and shit. He said he had that at NBC. We ain't seen that nigga since. He, he was doing bad shit. But so <clears throat> I, I tell you what, right now presents itself to be a great ass opportunity for a new album to come out from P Sean P. Diddy Combs and R. Kelly. Can you imagine <laughs> the hit that they could make together? Oh God! They hear smuggling some equipment into that jail. Ooh, R. Kelly on the on the keys. Ooh, that is ooh. Yeah, R. Kelly yeah, and they, P. Diddy together. That's that's P. they go they go they go. I bet you they go have to start, they go have to start a record label in jail to keep them Thanks. dudes off their ass. That's what they go do. Hey, look, I'm gonna sign you. I'm gonna sign <laughs> you, dog. Like, let me hear your bars. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, they are going to have yeah. P. P. Diddy might like them boys on on, on him in there, but uh, yeah, that that would be some mean records, man. Like it's gonna be a. I think this ends the only way 
that uh, grown folks tells a gangster how their life is going to end in two ways. <clears throat> Dead or in jail. Yeah. That's what I think is going to happen with Diddy. Uh, he may say I had the best life ever and I'm not about to go do 20 years and I'm going to just call it a day. He might just or, you jump know, off a might, cliff. Yeah, or he might sit down and go through that appeals process and see if he can loophole his way out of it. He might be, you know, pompous enough to think he can win. He been radio silent, though, so I guess we we just got to stay tuned and watch. We're going to see what's happening, man. I'm interested to know what y'all think out there. What's going to happen with the dude, man? Is he going to end up in jail, end up dead, end up, you know, getting free? Well, I mean, what what you think? Um, or do you think mm -hmm. he's going to be in prison soon, uh, starting a record label with with R. Kelly, and they'll have Young Thug to sing a hook. Who knows? Hey, Aaron Payne did bring up the fact that he did do I'm Fucking You Tonight with R. Kelly and Big. See, he sure you know. did. Uh, they already got they already they got made chemistry. Some heat. <laughs> they made some heat. <laughs> fucking you tonight. That is the worst thing that he could have wrote with R. Kelly <laughs> now that they both about to go to prison. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. He gonna be walking in with his with his blanket in his hand all folded up. You know how they always had that jail picture with you walking yeah. past the hallway. You could just hear him in the background. You must be used to be tripping. <laughs> all that sweet whining and dining. <laughs> I'm fucking you tonight. <laughs> he was like, man, go ahead with that. <laughs> he walked, bruh. In 1994, the cool nigga might have said that to him, bro. Right. Like, like that would have been acceptable game, court, courtship. Um, <laughs> like, I think I've said it before. Nigga probably said I've it. I've tried it. <laughs> I've tried it, man. Exactly. I don't that remember is, the success rate, but I know I've tried it before. <laughs> that's definitely a victim of the dead times. Like we, that today you would never ever uh, 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 advise your son to use that line. <laughs> yeah, please don't say that, brother. Please don't say that today. Don't do that. But back in the day, it'd be like, hey. Yeah, I'm like, boy, yeah, you about to yeah. get something with that. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking you tonight. Yeah. Uh, you must that's, be that's used to happen. me tripping. <laughs> <laughs> All that sweet whining and dining, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking you tonight. Said I'm fucking you. <laughs> Said I'm fucking you. Hey, um, hey, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yo, how's that cocky shit? And that's the worst. That was like R. Kelly. They gonna do the same thing to Diddy. Go back and play all the old songs and find all the uh, <laughs> all the terrible shit he just said verses and be like, why didn't we know? Yep. That's that's all bad. Uh, Zar Kelly, we a lot of people went back like, oh yeah, God, I used to sing that. Like, I sure did. <laughs> My mind's telling me no. <laughs> that should have been the end of the song, R. That shit was fire for a while. <laughs> yeah. But my body, <laughs> your body got you in jail, R. You should have listened to your mind. That's <laughs> like, hell yeah, that's like my mom with hip hop. She don't be here nowhere. She be jamming to a song and don't know what they say because she ain't even listening. That one must have been me with R&B back in the, in the I 90s. I guess so. <laughs> I, mean, I wasn't paying attention. And, but I heard all the creep shit. Like, I heard yeah. it. You uh, may be young, but you're ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Ready to learn. Like, God damn, bro. You're not a little girl. You're a woman. Take my hand. 
Like, man, you, you should be in prison, fam. <laughs> exactly. Why didn't we look at these songs on paper? Because <laughs> we would have immediately been. Yeah, it's like, wow, you, you wrote that? He's a, he's a right nurse. after you tried to marry Aaliyah when she was 15? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> oh shit. Damn. That was uh, a rumor, huh? Damn, yeah. right? <laughs> and now R. Kelly just been gone. He been gone hell long now. What, five years, four years or something? He probably been sitting up. I don't know. Is R. Kelly gonna get out? I don't think so. I think he got like he had 38 cases against him. How is he going to get yeah. out? That's what I said. I think he got, like, football numbers. He got, like, 152 yards. <laughs> he got, like. <laughs> Remember when he snapped uh, on Gail King? This is my life you're talking about. Why are they trying to do this to me? I don't know how to hog tie nobody. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't even know what a hog tie is. <laughs> it was burnt up. R. Kelly is sentenced to 30 years in prison right now. Um, but who knows what that means nowadays. Niggas be getting 30 years and be out in five and shit and be like, yeah, I had this program. Uh. I think he, he'll he probably get out, though. He'll probably get um, out. I think he'll get out, nah. though. I do. Nah, they he's still fighting cases. R. Kelly get out of jail. He's still fighting more cases, bro. He got another couple convictions coming. What? He gonna get out of jail, dog. They say he's sentenced to thirty. Second convention. All right, his second conviction extends an earlier 30 year sentence by a year. Mm. So 31. 31. He now. Like, he like, shit. <laughs> he ain't getting he ain't getting out for a while. I think somebody said he's supposed he'll he'll have a parole or something coming up. Mm. Nah. Oh well, it don't matter. I th- I think by the time he do get out, I don't think he's going to be interested in pursuing pursuing music anymore. You don't? I don't think so. I do. You think he'll get out and be a a 71-year-old R. Kelly uh, producing music out there on tour like like Smokey Robbins (laughs) with his bad hips? (laughs) (laughs) I think if he get out at 58, he will. He already 58, bro. Nah. P. Diddy Kelly, ain't bro. young. P. Diddy, P. Diddy was out R. when Kelly. I was a, or R. Who Kelly ain't about? young. R. Kelly age. Mm. R. Kelly R. Kelly got to be about 47. 51? At least. Yeah. He get out in about 8, 9, Oh, no, nah, he's 57 right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. R. Kelly ain't young, nigga. That yeah, nigga, hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking children. Yeah, come on, bro. Uh, yeah. Now, um, R. Kelly, old bro, man. He ain't no, he ain't no young buck. Um, what do you think about the idea that Diddy pissed somebody off? I think all this happened because he was beefing with 50 Cent. 50 Cent uh, smashed and got this dude's whole life turned around. I tell you one thing, I ain't finna never beef with 50. That dude, <laughs> I hope I, I hope he's on my good side forever. That's all I got to say. Forever. I like all his posts. <laughs> oh, hey, ho- hold it down for me for one second, brother. God damn right. Um, yeah, man. I think the idea that Diddy pissed somebody off is a real thought. And um, like, and they shutting the lights off. Because I don't think, I think they already knew about it. 
I think they've already known about him the whole time he was doing his wild shit, but he was useful. Yeah, that's just a conspiracy theorist in me. He was useful. And now he ain't useful no more. We in the new generation, uh, uh, Gen Zers or the Gen Xers or whatever you young niggas is called. It's your time. And so Diddy got to go. <laughs> and let's get him out of here like this. What do y'all think? Am I far off? Am I conspiracy theorist? Am I uh am I close? I'm looking for my weed. <laughs> you gotta make baseball cards. Oh, I know, right? Keefy D. Yeah, Keefy D out here too. <laughs> but Keefy D was doing different shit. He was broke trying to do interviews and get some money because he broke now. Nigga sold a thousand kilos, but ain't got a dollar. <clears throat> and he broke, so he doing interviews and shit, trying to make two, three thousand dollars each time and telling these old stories, and he told too much. <laughs> With his dumb ass. Um, yeah, not smart. Not smart. But, yeah, I think they get these kind of niggas. These are the type of niggas they move around the industry, bro. Give them the power. Be real pieces of shit. And then use them up. But that's what niggas say. That's why I never made it. <laughs> Cause I wasn't willing. Yeah, right. <laughs> that ain't that shit. Uh, nah. Puff owes him a million. Uh, Franco, what you talking about? He just being moved around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me and my wife was talking about that earlier, Derek. That Diddy was uh, going to be <laughs> doing yoga now with Russell and shit. <laughs> he just going to start a little well, uh, uh, a salt team, <laughs> yoga league, <laughs> yoga group. Uh, that would be crazy if he ended up in Bali, because Bali got no extradition too. But, um, but that extradition is one thing. They still will freeze up your bread, though. Um, so, like I said, I think Diddy probably got two million liquid in a briefcase if he can move around. And that ain't gonna move a rich nigga like that around too far, especially if they got a high. <clears throat> so he's gonna need some money. He's gonna need to come out at some point in time. And he can get to that island, but he might not be able to get his bread there. It might be froze up now. <clears throat> if they on some other shit. Like, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. But who's going to date? Aaron Payne, you flying in from Denver? Bring some of that tree. How is the tree in Denver? I went a bunch of years ago and it was kind of mid, but I'm a spoiled brat from California, so. Mm, I might not be knowing that much. Um, Puff moving. <laughs> oh, yeah. Puff, Puff got a hundred stories, bro. He been telling, uh, uh, yeah, Keefy D. That is what Keefy D told that Puff offered him a million. And then they tried to go collect. Supposedly someone else got the check and whoop whoop never gave it to Keefe and all that shit. But having some technical difficulties, bro. I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga hit the wrong block, huh? Yeah, man. He said he was supposed to be out there, but then he ain't here. And then then he's like, well, I don't, he don't take he don't take Zell. So it's like, oh my, I gotta go find the the proper one to get logged in on. <laughs> 
Uh, Denver never compared to Cali. Yeah, I know. Um, they did some good extracts for a while. And their mushrooms is real good. <clears throat> um, but the tree, it's all right. Um, Jay out buying some goddamn weed right now. Whereas he should already have it, but you know, uh, you know, I, I I need a bag like once a month or something like that. Um, that's just when you you know, savage life. But yeah, what's up with everybody? What's the big story of the day? Besides Diddy, huh? Um, anybody saw Godfrey on Club Shay Shay? Pretty good appearance. I'm sitting here breaking down some trees right now. <clears throat> Bob Saget, been growing it a lot of years. You already know. Rest in peace. Should probably send his wife a couple of dollars. <laughs> Did good with the Bob for a lot of years. Oh, but yeah, man, I do think it's over for Diddy. And that's the other thing I was saying. It does feel like OJ-ish. Like with the threat of getting out of town and all of that shit like OJ was trying to do it. <laughs> That's why it was like almost exciting on everybody's radar. I didn't even see the shit till I got home from, from from the jail today. NFL rules. Yeah, Godfrey does do great impressions. Godfrey's a fucking killer, too, as a comedian. That ain't no front. Like, he's one of them killers that, like, should have been a lot farther. Um, but they can't put him in a box. Like, they really don't know what to do with that dude. Um, but, yeah, Godfrey's an animal. Always has been. Godfrey, he that guy. Amazing. I had a plenty, plenty, of, plenty of nights with Godfrey on just, just live on Facebook or on, on YouTube or on Instagram, just, just having a good time doing impressions and just, just kicking it. Right. Yeah. And anything else that's saying, even that, that's what he said, his impressions are dope and they are, they're top notch. Like, but, uh, he's also a hell of a comic. He's yep. funny. He's Real talk. Fuck. Real talk. Room. I've seen him tear down a room personally. Just like Jay and the other guys, he's a real, yeah, he's a swordsman. He got the same amount of years, 27 years. That's what he was saying on uh, Shay Shay. He got 27 yep. years doing comedy. All you niggas started damn near the same year. <laughs> that is crazy to see how many how a group, like how many started around the same two, three years within yep. each other. Like, That's our class. Fuck. We got a hell of a class, man. There's a hell of a class. A lot of y'all done came out of that shit. Like, yeah. Hell of a working. class. So, yeah, man. Well, I don't know what y'all was talking about while I was gone. I had to, man. It, it, sometimes when you when you're dealing with folks that you don't normally used to deal with, that's 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 what happened today. I'm having, to, I was having to deal with some new people, and uh, you know everything worked out. But good lord, it just it's just the process. And and here and I, and I bought a new phone. Here's the when you buy a new phone, I don't care how seamless it feels. All the apps don't don't just let you sign right back in, and I don't know all my I don't know all my little sign ins and stuff. I got the new I bought me a new phone, and uh yeah. got the new the fifteen or whatever, and, and I'm trying to trying to up update my shit. And man, it's like all of my it's like thirty percent of the passwords that I have or the apps that I use, I got to go back in and re-sign in again and try to figure out what the hell I made up as a password for this one this time. Thanks. Oh, you don't use 
two passwords for everything. I got two. I know if it ain't this one, it's this one. Yeah. If it needs, if it needs the extra character, I know which extra <laughs> character that I do. Yeah. Sometimes it needs two of them bitches or some really dumb shit, and, I, and then I gotta leave a note in my phone because I ain't gonna remember that shit. I got two or three of them that I go to, but then some, you know, but then it's it's which one of the two or three. But then I got in the exactly. habit of changing them every year, but then I only change the ones that I use the most every year. So if it's something that I ain't used really that often, I might not have changed it in two or three years. Now I got to try to remember what that one was for two or three years ago. So I just I just spent half the day just saying the hell with it and just resetting the password whenever it comes to me. I just reset it. Just try it again. Do me that email, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hit me with it. hit me with the text message. Exactly. Yeah. Let's it's figure crazy. it out, man. So absolutely nowadays. Well, that's what it is, man. That's what I'm on today. And uh, you know, so what kind make of sure. trade you get. Huh? What kind of trade you get. Um shit, whatever shit Tiva they had on sale, man. I just I just uh, scooped some uh, shit up. I ain't even looked at it good. Okay. He said I, he just, got I grabbed it. I, I just grabbed it from him and it took off because it. You wanted a few sativa. You wanted a few sativa buyers to still rock it. And most people get like a, in a hybrid, maybe sativa dominant. You be looking for your sativa. Yeah, I'll be looking straight up. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that. If I want an indica, blue. I'll get an indica. Yeah, give me that. I mix my I mix my own hybrids. I I get my indica stash, and then I'll 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 just put a little nug of that into my sativa stash. (laughs) Make me a little salad. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. so I can still write, but I'm smooth. I'm sitting here chilling at the same time. (laughs) I got some lemon royale today. That's what I got. Yeah, big lemons. Uh, yeah, man. So Dayton, Ohio, this weekend. Dayton, Ohio, uh, this weekend. Absolutely. Um, it's gonna be dope. I I ain't been out there in a while, but uh, definitely happy to be out there. Can't wait to pull up. Um, uh, to the to the funny bone out there. So, if you're in the Dayton area, man. Uh, if you're in the Columbia area, the little try try area whatever they call it. It's a tri city or something like that area. Um, for 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 Dayton and Columbia and or was it Columbus, Co- Columbia, mm. Columbus, Ohio and uh, mm. Cincinnati. So that's the three. So if you're anywhere in that little tri city area, man, come on, pull up to see your boy, man. I'm out here. Outside. Uh, grandma's breath is from fire. Went down well, Aaron Payne. Shout out to them. <clears throat> yeah. Grandma's strain of weed. Yes. That's very, that's a very, uh, very effective strain, yes, for sure. From, and then I always, the then I always get a classic uh, blue. It'll give me a little blue dream. Uh, uh, I always know, keep a blue dream around. The, the easiest weed to grow. Easiest weed. You can't kill it if you <laughs> want it to. Any wannabe growers, get you a blue dream plant and fuck it. You can step on it once a week. <laughs> that motherfucker going to grow. It'll grow on out there for you. That's all you need. And it yields strong. You're going to have a whole lot of sativa, but, you know, it, it yields a lot. So any first time in young growers, just as a tip, grow, try some blue dream and say, I'm dope as hell. And then try to grow some OG and be like, oh, I don't know. I don't know shit. what the fuck I'm doing out here. <laughs> oh, <no> shit. <laughs> blue dream, how you thinking you dope, like playing off easy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I know it. I am gonna grow something in the backyard though. I'm gonna go ahead and grow me. I'm gonna grow me a little, little, little you bush or some shit out there. Legally, you can grow six plants, bro. I know. I ain't trying to do all that though. I don't want to. I ain't six to, plants. I know. I can probably get seventeen pounds off that, but I don't care. I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, but you give yourself room for two of them to die or something, you know. <laughs> and I'm still gonna have some tree. Give you just a little, little elbow room. <laughs> give me a little, yeah, I get it. Give you a little wiggle room. We'll talk off air. Um, I got, I got yeah, this face. Fair. Fair. All right, man. Uh, shoot, let's let's wrap this thing up, buddy. I've been out here too long. Let's do it. 
Man, appreciate y'all hanging out as always. Great show tonight. Did he do it? Did he not? Did he leave? Um, um, let us know what you think. Rewatch gang. Tell us in the chat what's going on. Also tell your friends to come watch the show at youtube.com slash jphillipslive where every Monday night you can get mine to the quiet dude. Be us too. Hanging, talking about what's going on in the world, in our lives. Might have a guest might not and you might see that jay phillips live show popping back up here real soon in some sort of fashion so stay on the lookout because we build it over here you see the sets getting better the sounds getting better the looks getting better everything's getting better so we build in the right way and once we open this garage it's gonna be crazy so please be here at youtube.com slash jay phillips live also you can go get some merch at www.jphillipslive.com slash store. There's all kinds of stuff to get. Um, new season's going to be happening real soon. Jay's off work, so you know he's going to be creating that new store, new lineup for the next season, getting it ready for y'all, getting the new pieces, what's going to be popping this summer. So please be on the lookout. It's still raining, though, so come get you a hoodie. Come get you a shirt. <clears throat> Follow me. I'm at Jamie Jones. One word on all your social media outlets as he is at Jay Phillips Live, as you already know. The Instagram's popping. The TikTok, they be hating, but it's popping too. So go on over there. Um, and we appreciate you guys watching, man. We'll see you guys next week. Shout out to everybody in the chat Aaron Payne, Barry White, uh, Franco. Uh, everybody, rewatch gang. We appreciate y'all. See y'all next week. Peace and love. Peace and love. Goodness almighty. Um, well, today we learned a lot. First of all, shout out to everybody in Dallas, and hopefully you guys pull up in um in Dayton coming up this week. Let's make it happen. Uh, DC, you're on the books. You're on the clock. Let's go. Uh, anyway, uh. We, I guess we talking Diddy a little bit here, man. First of all, I hate the pile on. I do. I, I'm not the guy who normally is, you know, to 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 try to jump on and 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 kick this brother while he is down because he is absolutely down right now. But I guess there's certain cases where sometimes you you did some things and 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 your past is biting you back in the ass. And you know, while this is happening, you, how much sympathy can you have? This dude is been accused of doing some terrible things and um you know if he's done half of these terrible things that he's done then i guess he's supposed to be going to jail he's supposed to be losing some of his bread he's supposed to be getting sued you ain't supposed to be treating people all crazy but you know i just hate to see you know another one of the fellas gone up out of here i really do um i wish he wasn't like that i wish it wasn't like that but i guess it is so i don't know I guess I kind of just blame myself a little bit because I've been watching this dude for years and I've never caught creep vibes from him. You know what I mean? But maybe that's just my fault. I, how am I, he's given so many red flags. This dude's changed his alias probably 15 times. That ain't, you know, he went from P. Diddy to Sean Puffy Combs to Puff Daddy to Brother Love to... He he done had about seven, eight good ones that he made you say, you know. And um, I guess that should have been a red flag because anybody who I know that's been in the business for any amount of time has worked really, really hard just to get people to say your name. Just to be able to put your name on the flyer, put your name on, a, on an event, put your name on an album, put your name on a comedy special, put your name on anything. And to have people come out and 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 know that your brand is good so for him to be unchanged his name that many times i guess that's showing me the reason now i don't know <laughs> this dude is fucking weird anyway uh no diddy i'll see y'all next week that's a new thing now saying no diddy that's probably one of the worst things ever but uh no diddy guys i'll see y'all next week one love Mine.
mind. 